Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Let's have a look at this question. Question of the year 2014, October November paper, variance 43. Question number 3. This question is in the forces and equilibriums chapter. Have a look at the question here. Each of the three light in extensible strings has a particle attached to one of its ends. The other ends of the strings are tied together at the point O. Two of the strings pass over fixed, smooth packs, and the particles hang freely in equilibrium. So the keyword here is in equilibrium. And the weights of the particles and the angles between the sloping parts of the string and the vertical are shown in this diagram. So everything is actually shown in a diagram. And it's given that sine beta is 0.8, and the cos beta is 0 0.6. So there are two informations given. For part one, you are asked to show that W cos alpha is equals to 3.8. And then you are asked to find the value of W sine alpha. Alright, so before we start solving the question, let's have a look at the diagram here. There are two different strings here, which means there should be two different tensions. Look at the point that maintain everything in equilibrium, which is the point here, point O. So this point is the point that maintain all the forces in equilibrium. So it's being pulled by three forces here, 8 Newton, this tension, and this tension. Alright, so I'll name this one as tension 1, and this one as tension 2. And remember, the tension is a pulling force, so it must be away from the object, away from the point. So it cannot be into the point here. Alright, so the direction of the tension must be correct in order to get the correct answer. For now, let's figure out what is T1. Look, at this string here is connected to the W Newton. So if you're looking at this particle, this particle is being pulled downwards by the W Newton but at the same time it's being pulled upwards by the string which means the tension here is actually equal to w because this particle is not moving up or down it is in equilibrium so the upward force it should be equal to the downward force so the tension in this string should be equal to w newton so the t1 is equal to w newton the same thing goes to this particle this particle is being pulled downwards by 7 newton. At the same time, it's being pulled upwards by the string. So the tension upwards, which is the T2, is actually equal to 7 newton because this particle is not moving up or down. It is in equilibrium. So upwards force equals to the downward force. So now we can conclude that the T2 is actually equals to 7 newton. That's how we figure out the forces of the tensions here and the downward force is 8 newton so after figuring out all the forces then we can start to resolve the forces so for now let's say we resolve for this force first to resolve for this force we got to resolve in the x and y direction so for this force if i resolve in the y direction it should be going up if I resolve it in the x direction, it should be going to the right side. So the x component of this force after resolve should be 7 sine beta, as the beta is actually here. So the y component should be 7 cos beta. Okay, so now let's resolve for the w newton upwards and to the left okay so the alpha is over here which means the upward force should be w cos alpha 
and the left hand side it should be W sine alpha. For the 8 newton, we don't need to resolve it into the x and y direction because it's already in the y direction downwards. Alright, so for now let's have a look at part 1. You are supposed to show that W cos alpha here equals to 3.8. So look at the W cos alpha in our diagram, it's over here, it's in the y direction. Alright, so let's make an equation in the y direction. Y direction. So since everything is in equilibrium, so the upward force should be equal to the downward force, so that the particles are not moving. So the upward force, we have W cos alpha plus 7 cos beta. As for the downward force, there's only 8 newton, so it's equals to 8. For the next step, you just need to sub in what is given here. Cos beta is given. So W cos alpha plus 7. Cos beta is 0 0.6 as stated in the question. So it's equals to 8. From here, we can conclude that W cos alpha is actually equals to 3.8. As for the second part of the question, you are supposed to find the value of W sine alpha. So W sine alpha is over here. It's in the x direction. So let's form an equation in the x direction. So for the x component, left should be equals to the right because everything is in equilibrium, it's not moving. So the left hand side force, there is W sine alpha only. As for the right hand side force, there is a 7 sine beta. Okay, so we just need to sub in the sine beta's value as given in the question, 7 times 0 0.8. So it is 5.6 which means W sine alpha is equal to 5.6. Okay, this is how we solve the part 1. And for the part 2, have a look at the question. Hence means related to part 1. Find the values of W and alpha. Okay, so from the part 1, what we have here. W cos alpha equals to 3.8 and W sine alpha equals to 5.6. We will just need to solve simultaneously to get the W and the alpha. So a faster way is, let's say I name this equation as equation 1, this as equation 2. So for the part 2, I'll just need to take the second equation, divide by the first equation. Notice what happened here. W sine alpha is divided by W cos alpha. Same goes to the value 5.6 divided by 3.8. Okay, so the W here can be cancelled off and sine alpha over cos alpha will be just tangent alpha. For the right hand side, we will get 28 over 19 and hence we can get the alpha's angle which is equal to 55.8 degree. For the angle, the answer should be correct to one decimal place. So after we get the alpha, we can just sub into either equation 1 or 2 to get the W's value. So let's say I sub it into the equation 1. So W cos alpha 55.8 equals to 3.8. And please take note here. When you substitute the alpha value 55.8 here, you are supposed to sub in the whole value in your calculator and not the rounded up value to keep the accuracy of the final answer. And hence, your W should be equal to 6.77 Newton, correct to 3 significant figures. That's how we solve for this question. That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help, 
Genie has got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.